Hello Cancer, this is your reading for the 15th and 31st. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. For everybody that is new, welcome. And to my regular subscribers, not your guys are not regular. Let me rephrase that. To the people that have been with me for a while, thank you. I appreciate you guys so much. And without further ado, let's get started with this. Can do a Celtic cross. Oh, oh, okay. While I'm shuffling, I'm holding the <laughs> the card in front of the computer, not the camera. Anyway, the lovers. Hmm. Well, I know what's going on with you guys currently. Um, somewhat anyway. The fact that there's somebody that's on your mind, somebody that you're thinking about, somebody that you love. But there's a choice to be made here. What do you do? What do you do? Hmm. Let's see. Let's explore this a little bit further. What's going on around my cancers currently? What's going on around my cancers currently? Hmm. We have the emperor there. Hang on one second, guys. Now, uh, this could be you feeling very strong, feeling very in control of your life at this point, but I'm getting more so that this is the other person. This is a person who is so very strong will. This is an Aries energy. Um, very kind of, not really set in their ways, but this person is like the king of kings okay um they have everything they embody it all but the only thing is they can be a little stubborn and can also have a temper i feel whoever this is this person once they set their mind to something especially if it's well either way if it's good or bad they are not easily moved from that whatever it is they have set in their mind Okay, so what I'm getting is that there's somebody that you're thinking about, that you love, that um, you feel like maybe cannot be swayed. Okay, that's what that is. Let's see what's crossing you. The world. Hmm. There's a lot of, of um, lessons that you guys have learned in all of the houses, from the 1st through the 12th, okay? And I feel like <clears throat> right now, what's crossing you is taking the lessons that you have learned throughout and putting into action what you have learned in your situation currently okay if this emperor is you and you are feeling have an open mind that is what I want to say have an open mind okay we have uh, Leo Taurus Scorpio um, and Aquarius energy here what's the underlying issue here for cancer mm. you guys are basically feeling trapped in the past I feel um, things that have transpired things that have happened between the two of you um, experiences things that were said just all of the um, happenings it's like you're replaying things over and over and over again and not allowing yourself to to move past it, get out of that prison, um, stop being uh, bound by experiences from the past, being able to let go and have an open mind. You'll release yourself from all that anxiety, okay? Release yourself. Could definitely be a Gemini too, I feel. That's a Gemini energy there. Let's see, in the recent past, we have a Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. 
somebody that's missing you. I feel like both of you guys are strong. Um, hmm. You have a very nurturing individual that you are thinking about. This is somebody that's probably good with money. They may not have a lot of money, but uh, they're good with managing money. They're good with managing their households, being there for people. And I feel like both of you kind of have your backs turned to each other right now. But there's definitely something that um, you've, you've, you know. Everything that you need to know is time to just act upon it. Okay? It's time to start over. The world is 21. And the next card is the fool. Taking a leap of faith. Having faith. Stepping out on faith. Starting over. Feeling uninhibited. Okay? Not letting anything hold you back. Let's see what your crowning thoughts are. We have Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here. Six of Wands being successful. Being recognized for your efforts. I'm 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 feeling like you guys want acknowledgement for trying. So maybe you feel like in the past you know, you really put your, not necessarily your best foot forward, but what you put forward was what you had to offer at that time. And I feel like you want to be acknowledged for that. You want this person to have some understanding of that. Okay. What's coming in for Cancer? Knight of Swords. I feel like this is you speaking your piece. But I still feel this level of anxiety. Um, so maybe I'm feeling like take some time to kind of cool your jets. Um, not really overreacting, not really going in too fast or aggressively. I feel you will have your chance to speak and say whatever it is that's on your mind that you want to say to convey what you need to get across. But I, I'm definitely feeling this anxiousness, um, this this ready to speak, this ready to say something, to move forward. Aquarius energy. How is Cancer viewing this situation? Temperance. Can't we all just get along? Um, I'm getting that you want tranquility. You want peace. You want to not argue to work things out you really don't want to have a finger pointed at you um, I'm getting that you really want to to be heard but you don't want any conflict you don't want somebody telling you what you've done or or how you how you've hurt them I'm getting that you want to move forward from here you just want to start anew wipe the slate clean and move forward from here that's what I'm hearing let's see oh okay the influence here is the moon um, your emotions are fluctuating your emotions are waning like the different phases of the moon uh, it's like I'm, I'm getting that some of you if you're male there there's something to do with your mother there's some some issues stemming from the relationship with your mother um, and if you are female the male that you're dealing with has some deep rooted issues stemming from their relationship with their mom. This person has a lot of deep feelings for you that they probably have not revealed to you or that you did not pick up on while you were together. This person probably came across very aggressive, okay, or vice versa. But I'm definitely getting that um, 
like somebody wants to open up here and really tell the other one how they feel but it may come across as like this 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 aggressive energy hmm. let's see cancers hopes or fears hope is to have a new start to initiate this start to begin again There's a lot of attraction here, emotionally, physically, a lot of attraction here. What is the overall outcome for a cancer? The hangs me in. I don't feel like, you know, you're necessarily stuck, but I feel like there are still a lot of things that you need to figure out. Um, that you're not quite clear on so I don't really see a lot of action taking place here through the remainder of the month I feel like you still need some time to kind of contemplate and and really evaluate things here so I don't see much movement here for the remainder of the month okay I don't see a whole lot of communication um, and, and that's probably why was coming out you know probably in like August September is like you know what's being held back is just kind of like exploding onto the other person and it's coming across like aggressive that's the best word I can say guys okay so Pisces is here cancer um, of course could be another cancer like yourself Sagittarius Aquarius Gemini Aries um, I think I said Leo, Scorpio, Taurus here, and um, Capricorn, Virgo, maybe here as well. Dang, there are all the signs are possible here. Okay, guys, so that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.